were there attempts by the government of President Uhuru Muge Kenyatta to demolish Western Hotel yesterday? That's the question which most Kenyans are currently asking. Western Hotel is owned by none other than the Deputy President Dr. William Samoy Araputo. But Western Hotel sits on a land which was grabbed from the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority. And for those who have been following the issues around Western Hotel, they even attempted to grab the land, the play field, for the Langata Primary School. So there has been attempt to revert the land back to the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority. And none other than the deputy president himself confessed that indeed the land was grabbed from the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority. Acquired. The National Land Commission has made a finding that Western was an innocent purchaser for value from somebody who got it illegally. That and reparations have been made constitutionally to restore that land to Kenya Civil Aviation Authority by demanding that those who sold the land to us must pay. A report by the National Land Commission found the Western land belonged to the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority and that the allotment letter issued to Priority Limited and Monena Investment Limited who sold the land to Western Limited but why would the government of President Ruki Nyata decide to demolish Western Hotel? Yesterday, Western Hotel was actually trending. It started trending after Oscar Sudi made some posts online. For those who are following the channel here, I've always insisted that Oscar Sudi is the mouthpiece of, of the Deputy President Dr. William Samaruto. There are certain things which Oscar Sudi is normally mandated to speak or to say. So this is what Oscar Sudi posted. That the deep state are indeed cornered. They have today decided to express their fury by attempting to demolish Western Hotel. And that post by Oscar Sudi has actually generated a lot of comments so far. Within two hours, it already had 2,000 comments. And then I decided to check on uh, Nixon Korea. Because there's also a specific reason why William Ruto ensured that Nixon Korea was elected the member of parliament for Langata. He wanted someone who was going to protect his property, which was then under attacks from Raila Morodinga, the Western Hotel. Nixon Korea is saying, try and you will tell us how a plumber acquired all the wealth we are not your slaves pandora now that's nixon Korea, the member of parliament for langata but i don't want to get into all those what we know is that western hotel sits on a government land the other thing we know is that Western Hotel employs so many Kenyans. And the other thing we know is that we have politics. So someone might attempt to use Western Hotel to pass certain political messages. Because in politics, nothing really happens out of mere coincidence. So the question is, why would the government attempt to, de to demolish Western Hotel? Or who was behind this? What is not clear was whether the bulldozers were just resting around Western Hotel. They were headed somewhere else, but the driver or the operator just decided to park it there, or they just passed there. Then someone took a photo. And people like Oscar Sudi, Nixon Corred, picked it up. But again, William Ruto is the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. He has intelligence. There is no way Oscar Sudi can make such reckless statement. There is no way Nixon Korea can make such a reckless statement without getting proper information from the deputy president, Dr. William Samaruto. So in my view, in my view, the Western Hotel Saga, the demolition saga, was intended to achieve several objectives. By the way, 
before we proceed for those who are watching this channel for the first time i want you to take a second or two and click the subscribe button so that next time you produce a video like this youtube will automatically notify you and to the subscribers i want to continue thank you guys for your continued support you know yesterday i made just i posted one video and i i told you guys that my dad is unwell so i was going to pick him for some review so he's actually admitted in some hospital here around here so we hope he's going to feel a bit a bit better now let us get straight to the points why do you think the government or whoever planned this came up with the idea of demolishing western hotel or even to put those bulldozers around it five reasons number one i tend to believe that if it's true that the government instructed relevant authorities to go and demolish western hotel or just to scare the dp then i believe very strongly that it was intended to di divert the attention of the country from the pandora papers pandora papers is a huge scam internationally president Ruki Nyata and the family are involved and Kenyans have been asking why even the media is silent on Pandora Papers. So the best way to divert the attention of Kenyans is by coming up with this juicy idea of demolishing Western, Western Hotel. I'm saying juicy because the country is divided. There are those who are supporting the DP and there are those who are not. So those who are supporting the DP who not want anything to touch Western Hotel. Those who are not supporting DP would want anything to attack to 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 touch so basically it's like don't touch touch it so it's a juicy story it means therefore that the entire country were going to shift their attention from pandora papers to this western hotel demolition that's a fact we can't run away from number two and this one if we assume that the government had no intention whatsoever of demolishing Western Hotel. Then it means the idea or the person who circulated those photos wanted to seek sympathy for the Deputy President Dr. William Samuel Ruto from Kenyans. William Ruto has projected himself as a hustler, number one. And he's been saying that hustlers were kepata, they say they've stolen. Western Hotel sits on a grab land. So it means if you, if you demolish it, you are demolishing a property belonging to the deputy president, Dr. William Samaruto, who is a hustler. So basically, it will be easy to come up with a narrative that the system or the deep state or whichever person responsible is actually doing this to hurt the DP. And by hurting the DP, by making it appear that they are targeting the DP, it means he's going to win a lot of sympathy. Let's face it, even the timing, if it's true these guys wanted to demolish Western Hotel, even the timing itself is not right. If I were President Ru Kenyatta and I wanted to demolish Western Hotel, I would have done it a long time ago. You know, for those who remember the Nakumat UK, it, the, the building was um, brought down. So Western Hotel, if you compare to that building, is a nothing. But the fact that it belongs to the DP means that politically it's not correct to touch it. But it sits on a government land. So they just need what the government need to do is just to agree with the Western Hotel on how they are going to, let's say, compensate. If not compensate, what will happen when the government will decide that we are extending a road? It means it will have to go. But for now, I tend to think that if the idea did not originate from the government, then William Ruto and his team are out to seek sympathy from Kenyans. Because even now, as we speak, Raila Odinga has cornered the DP, and the DP is strategizing on how to catch up again. So getting sympathy in the account, on the account that he's a hustler and is being targeted is the right thing for him to do. Number three, I also tend to think that if indeed the government 
were attempting to demolish Western Hotel, then it means they wanted to test the reaction of William Ruto supporters. Whether they can brave the night and go and camp at Western Hotel. Whether tomorrow they can organize a huge demonstration in Nairobi to protect Western Hotel. So basically, this normally happens. They just want to test how William Ruto supporters were going to react. Remember, when Meksonko was arrested and even Waititu, I opined that the main reason why he was driven and taken to Nairobi for that mentioning on that particular night, day, was to test the impact of Sonko if he was to be arrested. How were Nairobians going to react? Because most people believed that by that time, if Sonko was touched, Nairobi was going to burn. It never happened. And Sonko was supposed to mobilize the crowd for the DP by that time. Just like now, someone might be out to test the reaction of William Ruto supporters in Nairobi, whether they'll walk, they'll wake up, walk to Western Hotel the way they did in uh, Eldoret when uh, his security were changed. Number four, in my view, this could be a campaign tool. Someone just wanted to remind Kenyans that this guy is a land grabber. He grabbed Western Hotel. It belongs to the government. The government is trying to repossess it, but it can't happen because it's powerful. So someone is planning to use it as a campaign tool. Remember, there's Pandora box, which someone is also intending to use. There's nothing which stops anybody from using Western Hotel as a campaign tool for 2022. So is, the DP is being scared. When I wake up to the, the bulldozers, then people start making noise. The entire country starts arguing whether it should be demolished or not. Then they start scrutinizing who is the real owner of Western Hotel. It's the DP. Then is the land his? No, the land belongs to the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority. So several questions would be asked. That if this guy can take this land, he's not the president. What will happen if, he's, if he becomes the president of the Republic of Kenya? So in my view, it's going to be used as a campaign tool. And lastly, someone might be out to send a strong message to the DP. That if you continue attacking the president, if you continue doing whatever you've been doing to the president, then the thing we are going to do is simple. We are going to bring Western Hotel down. And if Ruto was to allow Western Hotel to go down, then it's going to prove to the entire country that indeed it was grabbed. So you would not want a situation where Western Hotel is brought down. And if it's not brought down, then even the deep state will be seen to be targeting the DP. So let us wait and see how the whole thing is going to unfold. And for those who are watching this channel for the first time, I want you to take a second or two and click the subscribe button so that next time you produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. I will want you guys to let me know of uh, the next topic you do want me to dissect. Please let me know. I know there are several. A lot of people were asking me to do something about Moses Kuria visiting Raila, which in my view was supposed to be a hot topic but because i was a bit busy but if you are still interested let me know in the comment section just by tapping bring moses korea back so that i can do a proper analysis on Raylo dinga's visit to moses korea thank you guys and for those who have not yet subscribed i don't know why are you not subscribed by the way just click that subscribe button for those who would want to join channel membership, also free, just click that join button there. Follow the process. Very simple. Until next time, this is Lee McQueen. Bye-bye.